Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Tuesday, October 29th, 2024. I am back from my short vacation and the trip to Bremerhaven where I had the job interview for the position as system administrator slash radio operator at a German research station in Antarctica. I will tell you more about that job interview in just a moment. First, I need to feed the cat. Since I've been away for a couple of days, I think salmon is the fish of choice for today. Right, cat? Are you excited about a salmon? Yes? And here you go. He's good. He's good. The cat purse. Let's step outside. Make sure that we are safe. That no creeper waiting for us. The bees seem to be very industrious with their honey production, which is super nice. Well, the salmon are enjoying the fresh water. The cat likes to have more fish, but no, you already got a whole salmon just for yourself. That should be enough, cat. That should be more than enough. So yeah, yesterday was a day full of traveling and a little bit of talking. The day started like my regular days always start. So got up at shortly past 5 a.m. Did a 30 minute long workout on the terrace in the garden of my parents, which was super nice. Got my breakfast. My train was scheduled to depart at 8 a.m. As the time to get to the train station approached, I checked the schedule of the train and there was already a delay, 16 minute delay, which on the one hand was nice as it meant I could take it a little bit more easy to get to the train station. On the other hand, since I had to get two connecting trains, it also meant a little bit of excitement for that day. So got to the train station, waited there until the, the train arrived. The delay unfortunately was not made up by the, the train until I had to get to the first station where I had to, to cha change trains. Luckily, the other train either decided to wait for us or was delayed due to other reasons. So this train luckily arrived a little bit later. It was a little bit confusing as the train was scheduled to arrive on one platform. As I rushed to this platform, I heard the announcement the train was moved to a different platform, so rushed back to the other platform. As I got to the other platform and was moving towards the segment of the gate where, where my, my, my coach would be, I heard another announcement that they moved the the gate for the train again. 
So back down again, up the stairs again with my two backpacks to finally be at the right gate. This train finally pulled into the train station, got on board. At this time there was already a... well, the, the, the delay, the, the overall delay reduced a little bit. So it started with a 16 minute delay. The other train arrived 10 minutes later or so, so the 16 minutes dwindled down to 12 minutes delay. Nice, but a little bit concerning as I had to get a third train in Bremen. So the excitement continued. The ex excitement even increased as the train conductor announced the, 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 the last train can't wait for us. So I thought, okay, I definitely missed that train. I have to wait now for one hour in Bremen for the next train, which would have been not so much of a problem in general with respect to my job interview as I purposefully booked an earlier train just in the case that something like this happens, that there are some delays, I miss a train for some reason and I need to, to wait for, for the next train. Luckily the third train was still in the train station as we arrived, so I rushed over to the to the other gate, down the stairs, up the stairs again with my with my two backpacks, very fun. And I just made it into the train, so yay. The the journey to Bremerhaven was a success. I basically arrived at the time when I was scheduled to arrive, but the entire train ride was more hectic than I really wanted. I, I wanted to have it like a relaxed train ride. There was enough, well, initially there was enough uh, time to to change the, the trains, but the German train service decided to ruin everything right from the beginning. <laughs> so this was, this was a little bit hectic. The weather also was not in my favor. They predicted some rain for Bremerhaven for the time when my job interview would start. So my job interview was scheduled for 2 p.m. I arrived at 11.30. Rain should start at 2 p.m. Of course, the rain started at 11.30. So after I, I left the bus I took from the train station to get a little bit closer to where the, the job interview would take place and then had to walk the rest. Got a little bit more wet than, than I wanted. But okay, arrived there. Was really... had a really friendly welcome. At first there was, there was some confusion. I mean, I was a little bit concerned, excited, unsure. They sent me an address which I checked on Google Maps, but when checking it on Google Maps there was... well, the, the, the the company was not uh, named there as as being being located at this spot, at this house. So I was a little bit concerned. Like, okay, uh, this is this is really right. Did, did they send me a wrong address? Everything okay? But as I got there, I luckily found a sign of the company's name. So. Uh, th this was good. <laughs> this was then assuring. It was just a little confusing as there was a, um, I mean, the, the main gate, which you can use with it when, when driving in with your truck, with your car, with whatever, as it was also, it, it was a former, former shipyard, former ship construction facility or something like that. Um, they... They had a, a, a well normal person entrance gate, which had also a big button like okay, visitors please press that button to ring the bell to to get then let into the the house. So I stood there, pressed that button, no one answered as it was no longer a working shipyard. 
luckily, as I stood there, someone of the appointment committee arrived and asked me, "Hey, are you are you here for those job interviews? If so, then just follow me. There, there's no one you you need to inform. You can just enter the premise and get into the 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 house. So th this was what was a nice. At first, it was a strange situation, being happy having found that building and being happy that the the building was the right building, and everything was okay. But then, okay, how do I get into that building? From there, to to get a nice, nice welcoming experience with, hey, I I got you covered. You're you're, you're very right here. It's just that things uh you you don't have to ring the bell. Uh, good. But then also a very warm welcome from the secretary, secretary, which was also super nice. She asked me whether I like to have some coffee, water first or so. Of course, it's absolutely no problem to leave my my backpack in the in the secretary's office. She will guard it all the time, and of course, I, they they can can have a quick lunch. They pointed me into a direction where. Since there are lots of restaurants that offer fish-based food, since Bremerhaven is at the at the North Sea, and so lots of fish and so on, fishing, fishing, fishing town. Um, got there. I did not eat any fish. I instead decided to go. In German, it's called basically. Farmer's breakfast. It's oh, hi. This one also likes to have some farmer's breakfast, I guess. <laughs> it's basically scrambled eggs with some uh, roast potatoes, which is kind of nice dish. And uh, yeah, I got also a nice, nice dessert. So was was super happy. Was well prepared. Well, well satisfied for this guy is concerning for for the job interview. Got back to the to the company. Had about an hour long chat with the with the secretary. She was super nice. She was also kind of interested and welcoming and supportive. I mean, not that that I was stressed in any way or so, but it was still kind of interesting that how she she talked about everything and. Um, how she was interested in what I'm doing, and yeah, we, we just had had a very nice conversation, which felt also a little bit interesting considering the fact that I'm here for the very first time, and uh, I'm, I'm the the person who gets interviewed, and I'm not we are not we don't know each other for a long time or so. So th this was a really really welcoming experience. Finally, the the job interview began. It was a nice conversation. I was also curious about, hey, you invite me here or everyone for just 45 minutes. How do you do those those decisions like, okay, this this person could could fit or could not fit. So I, I got all even answers to that one. They took time to explain this to me, which I found super cool. They ask a couple of very short questions with respect to my technical knowledge, but more it was about getting to know me as a person and what I think, what makes me angry, what my hobbies are, how my how my CV ties into all of that, why I'm interested in Antarctica, why I'm interested in, in doing that, all those questions. They also were kind of curious about my sub three hour marathon time, and my my marathon training, and my my general physical state, which which I found interesting. Um, yeah, overall, what was really nice conversation. Of course, I, as always, can't really say yeah. This this was. It was good or it was bad. I mean, it, it was a good conversation. They they all seemed to have enjoyed it. They all said even afterwards um, or accompanied me, accompanied me a little bit to the building 
Well, I got back to the secretary office where I had to get my backpacks and so on. And um, they were all the time toward the end, not in a rush, like, okay, uh, we have to end it now, but more like, hey, we do have another appointment. And usually, as that in as, uh, during the, the initial discussion of the this upcoming job interview, it, it was scheduled as 45 minutes. We spent one hour 15, one hour 20 or so. So we we really extended that that meeting, that job interview, which I found really cool. And yeah, they, they really took time to talk to me. They found it apparently also nice. I mean, I, I said, uh, well, sorry that, that I screwed your, your timetable. But that, hey, that's also a nice sign. I mean, we had something to talk about, which is always great. So yeah, what was was really a, a nice nice conversation. The only thing that surprised me a bit, or where I was then thinking a little bit more about it than I actually might need to do it. I mean, not not during the job interview, but for the rest of the day. As they they asked me about what, what would. How would I spend the spare time in in Antarctica? Also said, hey, I would do my my video thing, and they informed me that most certainly the the adjacent research institute that is also um, that the main initiator of the that research endeavor is very very careful with respect to media being released about the entire Antarctica program so I don't know what that means I, I mean for me the the main problem I have with that is okay I, I can still of course create my, my videos and so on that that's as long as I don't make them publicly available, I guess. I, I mean, I have to investigate this a little bit further. Granted, they they select me and I, and I in the end say yes. Yes, uh, I, I accept. But I mean, it, that that that's part of my my hobby. It's part of my creativity. It's part of my personality, it's just a thing that I enjoy to, to share my experiences with the world, with you. And then not being allowed to do so, especially when I do it during my free time, between the, the, the normal duties, then it feels weird and it feels like, okay, uh, I'm already not that this is really a problem for myself. I'm already isolated from the rest of the world. But then I'm not even allowed to do what I enjoy to do, what what, what I can even do while I'm there. So th this really gave me, made me think, made me also think in a way like, hey, I, I have to have a discussion with you <laughs> when, when you really select me, then we have to find a solution how I can uh, still pursue my hobby. Uh, yeah, so uh, th this was the only thing that, that got me a little bit by surprise and where I thought, hmm, strange, <laughs> very strange, especially these days where social media is just an integral part of everyone's life. Anyways, so overall, very, very good, good interview, but as always, I don't have a feeling. I mean, the good thing about my personality is and my, my personal abilities and so on. I don't feel stressed at all by those kind of interviews, presentations, anything. I just go in, don't think ahead. I'm just in the moment. I'm, uh, there's also the discussion I had with my, my parents as I stayed there the days before. Like, okay, I'm just, I, I don't think for the future, at least not so much. <laughs> and I'm always thinking about things when, when they happen, not what potentially might happen. Anyway, so 
the, the good thing about myself is I, I don't feel stressed about those things. I, I just go in, do my thing, and then I'm most most of the time people are happy with what I do. At the on the other hand, the yeah, we it also result in the fact that I don't have a feeling about hey this was good this was bad I don't know I I, I don't care or so <laughs> so um yeah in the end I can't say wow that, that was great or it was not great or anything they informed me that okay they they still have to have a few more job interviews in the next weeks, then they have to think about the uh, the composition of the the entire team because the entire team has to has to to be um, well. Everyone in the team has to match. And th this is also a very important thing they have to decide. So even if I would be the the best skilled person for that job, if I don't fit into the team, then they would still select someone else. So they they emphasize this again. If someone else is selected, and not it's not me. It's not like I'm not qualified for it. It's just like okay, the other person might fit better into the team, or so they they plan to to create. Anyways, um, good good talk, good interview. Of course, as I then had to, to leave and get back to the train station, uh, it stopped raining, basically. <laughs> so the, the rain really happened to the worst moment of the entire journey. I didn't see much of Bremerhaven besides the, the couple of fish restaurants and the, the quick walk to the, to the company. So don't know. It's, it's a town. <laughs> It's a town at the coast of the North Sea, but that's all I can say about Bremerhaven. Got back into the 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 train station, waited there for a couple of time until the the first train arrived. I mean, I had like twenty minutes or so, twenty five minutes to twenty minutes time left, and. Till, uh, from the, from arriving at the train station until the train departed, but during this time, th there there was not really much I could do, like exploring Bremerhaven or something like that. Especially not with with my with my backpacks on my back, so opted against that one. And yeah, waited there. Was surprised how many people arrived at the train station quite early for the train. So this was it was interesting to observe. Got back to Bremen, where the train departs. That brings me back to my town. This time, once I got into that train, I had no other connecting trains, which was nice. The only problem was the the train had to be combined with a different train, so they they combined two trains to one single train that then continued to Munich. Since the the second train that was attached to to my train apparently was delayed and damaged to some extent with respect I guess to the to the attachment system or so. It resulted in the first delay, this delay then was extended a little bit. In the end I arrived 45 minutes later at home than than needed. So to 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 conclude this basically, I left at 8 a.m. and I got home at 9.15. Well, I was at home, uh, well, at, I was at the train station at 9.15, so at home I was at 9.30 p.m., which is kind of late, or <laughs> well, it's kind of a kind of long, long day. And uh, yeah, so, so I was kind of exhausted. During the last few minutes of the train ride, I already ordered uh, a pizza and uh, ordered the, the pizza for a specific time so that when I get back home, the pizza should arrive shortly. 
This worked out well. Enjoyed the pizza. Went to bed. And yeah, woke up in the a little bit in the night because for some reason this not not being able to produce videos woke me up or, or kept me busy during the night. Th this was a little bit unfortunate. Not only having had a very long travel day, then not also having a, a good night's sleep afterwards. But yeah, that that, that was that was trip to Bremerhaven. This was trip to to a job interview. And uh, this also was this episode, I would say. So I hope you enjoyed this very episode. Tomorrow I will talk a little more about the the rest of my vacation and other things, I guess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope I see you tomorrow. Until then, my name is Zeppi. See you.